how I'm feeling right now, like where I'm at right now, I'm in a fog of my own reality. Overall, I don't know exactly where this journey takes me. But I think in this year, I have to really self-evaluate and understand like what I'm doing. Because I don't want to be lost in the shuffle. I don't want to be lost within my own reality. Because ultimately, if I do that, I'm not paying attention to what matters most. I'm not engaged in what is really important in the grand scheme of things. Overall, I feel that this year I have to be at my very best. In real life, in reality, I have to be the best me I can be because this, this is what I do. This is my reality. This is the fog that I live in. And if I lose sight of that, I don't know who I am anymore because dreams fade. Dreams flicker in the distance and sometimes dreams go out. And your dream won't be the same as it was yesterday. It won't be the same as it was uh, a month ago or a few months ago or a year ago, etc. You'll be someone who doesn't understand that time passes you. And in that time, your dreams will also pass and they'll go away. Or they might change or they might defer to something else. I obviously have my hand in a whole lot of different things, you know, like these films and um, wrestling and kickboxing and, and and all types of things that I want to do. But ultimately, I'm trying to figure out how to balance all of them because I don't see myself wrestling forever. I don't see myself being as lenient on my body and, and, and traveling up and down the road. But I do have my dreams that I want to accomplish. I still want to wrestle in Japan. I still want to be you know, a gaijin and do my best over there. I still want to release documentaries and and produce podcasts and and do all types of these, you know, these media, you know, platformy things. But sometimes those dreams can outweigh what's really going on. And I don't know if I, if I'm articulating that well enough or if I'm being more upfront about it, but I don't know where my career in wrestling is going to take me. I can sit here and say that I'm doing, you know, my best, but looking at my situation, I could also say that I'm nowhere near as close as I could be to my dreams. Um, Trying out for three new Japan camps, trying out for Evolve, trying out for Ring of Honor. It all means something in the grand scheme, but I don't know what it means yet. I don't know where the payoff is. I don't know where the light is to follow out of the fog. Um, and this isn't to be like sad or morbid or or just, you know, just down on myself, but this is my reality. I've been wrestling for five years and I don't know where exactly this is going to take me. But I want it to take me where I'm hoping it would. But if not, I don't know. Maybe the maybe the future is meant to be bleak. Maybe it's meant to be fogged. Maybe it's meant to be a, a void of time that I'm not familiar with yet. But I know within myself, within my own, you know, being that I have to do what's right for me. And this isn't a a soliloquy on you should feel bad for me and, you know, you should accept my wrestling because I feel bad for myself or I'm like deprived of something. I want you to look at this and realize that the person behind the wrestler or the wrestler that is the person um, has dreams. It's fine to wrestle on in the indies, but when you will have dreams, you want more than just, you know, a small plate. You want the whole thing. And I think that's what I really want to convey along this journey, because this is me right now. This is me at, at whatever point this is in the story, but this is me. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but this is who I am.